I'm Ron and I'm back again for another round of Sports Views. Today we are reviewing both the women's national team and men's national team matches for Canada. We'll go in chronological order. So we'll start with Canada versus New Zealand. Canada wins 2-0 over New Zealand. Easy match. Canada dominated, obviously. Actually, even more than against Cameroon. They were a lot more offensive and it was a better game. They played better. They did waste a lot of attacks. I still think Moeller is not a good coach for them, but at least they attacked a little bit more, so that's that. So in the 48th minute, Jesse Fleming scores a goal off a cross from Nichelle Prince. N Jesse Fleming has it in the center of the box. She scores easy. Then in the 79th minute, Christine Sinclair has a shot right at the post. It rebounds off the post, and then it falls right to Nichelle Prince, and she scores off the solo effort. And then the stats of the game, Canada had 24 shots over New Zealand's two. Six shots to zero, six on target shots to zero. 70% possession over New Zealand's 30. 618 passes over New Zealand's 275. 84% pass accuracy, New Zealand 55% accurate. Eight fouls for Canada, five for New Zealand, no penalties, no penalty kicks, zero, no yellow cards, one offside by Canada, two by New Zealand, eight corners for Canada, one for New Zealand. Funnily enough, no goals came off the corners for Canada in this match, unlike the last match, their only goal, which is funny. Then, the Gold Cup game. So, I will say for Canada, wait, let me say this. Canada played a very good game. Women's World Cup, women's match, played a very good game. Beat New Zealand. They're moving on to the round of 16, no matter what. Now, all the game against the Netherlands is for is for placement. Will they finish first or second? That's the question. If they draw, they finish second. They have to win to finish first. But they'll be in the round of 16. Doesn't Finishing third is not a possibility. So that's one, first or second, round 16, good for them. Um, yeah, I'd say Nichelle Prince, woman of the match, considering she got the assist and the goal. Good, good play by her, and I really don't think anybody else deserves it. Yeah, so yeah. Then, for the men's match, not much else to say for the women's match. They dominated, not much else to say. Men's match, Canada beat Martinique 4-0 in the Gold Cup. Canada played very offensively, like the woman would have if John Herdman would have stayed, but then again, he didn't. Moeller still sucks as a coach. Forever. Um, the way I see it, Canada dominated Martinique 4-0 over a team that used to beat us a lot, so that's that. Got their first three points in the Na the Gold Cup, and as it stands right now, Mexico is up 1-0 on Cuba, but to be over Canada, they have to score five and not let in any. So Canada, as it stands, is leading Group A in the Gold Cup. It'll probably change by the end of the match, but after Mexico scoring after the second minute and not scoring yet, I'm surprised. Hasn't even gotten that far. So, good for that. Goals, the 33rd minute. Jonathan David scores off a solo effort when Martinique screwed up on the pass back to the defender. He picked it right up, intercepted it, just ran it in, and scored on their goalkeeper, who was giving them a problem a lot. Now, early in the match, Martinique had two scoring chances. Canada had one. And Martinique was giving them a problem, but then Canada settled down, started playing better, and then that goal happened. Then it went 1-0 in the halftime. Then in the 53rd minute, Jonathan David had a long pass from the midfield, comes down right at him. He collects, he runs, he scores a long pass, basically another solo effort. He gets a brace tonight. He doesn't score the hat trick. But there were two other goals in the 63rd minute. After, off an assist from Alfonso Davies across Junior Hoylet scores by basically heading it. Then it gets a rebound. Then he just chests it in. It was a very sloppy play by the 
Martinique goalkeeper, but Hoylet puts it in anyway. 67 minute. <laughs> 67 minute. Scott Arfield scores off a cross from Mark or a pass from Mark Anthony. K. Easy goal for Scott Arfield. Kicks it in. You know what it is. Um, uh, stats for the game. Canada had 24 shots. Martinique had 16. 12 shots on target against 4 for Martinique. 62% passing accuracy to 38. 88% or, or that was possession. Uh, 62% possession to 38% possession, 88% pass accuracy, 78% pass accuracy for Martinique. 584 passes for Canada, 370, 47 passes for Martinique. 16 fouls for both sides, 1 yellow card for both sides, 8 offsides for Canada, 2 for Martinique, 3 corners for Canada, and 7 for Martinique. Now, very dominating performance by Canada. I would say man of the match is Jonathan David. And yeah, I can't say anything else, but Canada actually like legitimately dominated this match. And Mexico just scored again. But it doesn't really matter. So Canada still, as it stands, leads the group, which is a very good thing. And I really don't think Mexico's gonna score more than five without letting one in, or more than four than letting one in. So Canada wins, dominates. John Herdman, the way the women got the style that the women play into the men's team. John Herdman, very great coach. Jonathan David, player of the match. Um, yeah, can't say anything else. Canada starts off the gold cup really well after being sloppy for about 20 minutes, but they get in it. And Canada women's team moves on to the round of 16, and Canada men's team starts the gold cup very nicely player of the day for both teams we're gonna put them both together I'd say player of the day is Jonathan David overall very good player two goals actually six goals and three assists and five appearances with Canadian men's national team he's on fire and he'll probably break D Rose record sooner rather than later averaging like a goal a game yeah he probably will um yeah so Canada had a great Super Saturday. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, like it, comment, you know what it is. Tell all your friends Canada, the Super Saturday, was perfect. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.